Hello everyone. I hope you are doing the activities from the past videos and today it is our third video from the series. So we are done with um, weight, we are done with temperature and today it is about length measuring instruments. So this scale is I think the first scientific instrument that we all have started using from our childhood. And it is the easiest instrument to use, isn't it? When I started reading about these measuring instruments at the scales, I came to know that there are more than 50 type of such scales used in different fields. So this is a plastic one, this is a regular scale which is also called as ruler and we use this to measure the line segment. Uh, the similar one is also found in rubber or in metal also like this. And this is uh, mostly used by the tailors and this is used by the carpenters. More accurate uh, devices than these are also available to measure length. So this is a scale which is called a diagonal scale. Uh, it is mostly used by engineers and it has a horizontal and vertical lines on it uh, like a grid uh, and it is mostly used to measure uh, small fractions of units to be measured. So this is another device. It is mostly used to measure the distance of the object. It is like it is placed like this and it has a main scale and a vernier scale. So it is called a vernier caliper and it is placed on the edge of the object. So its least count is very less. So more, uh, the measurements can be taken more accurately and precisely. This is another scale. It looks like a 3D scale, isn't it? Uh, this is called an architect's scale. So, this, this scale is mostly used by the architects to draw precisely architectural drawings like floor plans or perspectives. So, next, this is an interesting ruler, right? It is called a filler gauze. Uh, this ruler is mostly used to measure the width of gaps. So it is used mostly in automobile industries where they measure the gaps between the parts of two different machinery. This is again an interesting uh, instrument to measure distance but here I am not able to see any ruler. So it is called a range finder and the process of measuring the distance is called ranging. Where you don't have to actually go and measure the distance between the observer and the target. But this process of ranging is done by lasers or sound waves. So all these instruments are evolved from some smaller or basic instruments. But originally length was based on the length of the body parts. Like our foot or the length of the arm or like hand spans. Yes, you won't believe, but this is true, that the whole world as one did not have any standard measuring system. Yes, every different parts of the world had their own measuring systems, uh, like a cubit. Cubit is like this much, uh, length of the arm. But this length uh, of the arm would vary from person to person, isn't it? So it was very difficult uh, measuring system for Reading. So to avoid these variations in length, the Egyptians created a royal cubit of this length and it was then made in granite of a standard length which was called as the royal cubit and it was distributed to everyone to standardize the uh, measurement of length and this was very helpful in those days in construction industry and it flourished a lot there. So after this, uh, every part of the world started having their own standardized measurement units and systems. But again, they were not global and it was very much particular to a region only. And again, so this uh, problem again involved in trading and it was very difficult for trading. So to avoid all this confusion, a standard measurement system or unit was the need of that time. A meter. But it was not able to, to be decided how long actually a meter should be. 
So after a lot of discussion, it was decided that one meter should be the distance equal to one tenth millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator. One ten millionth of this distance from the North Pole to the equator. And this was calculated by trigonometry. So a standard meter bar which was accepted by the whole globe was prepared in Paris in 1795. It was redefined and more accurately defined in 1983. And now, today, we define a meter length distance as the distance traveled by light in 300 millionth of a second. So now, what can you do at home? You will start measuring different things like the door or the window with your hand spans. So measure with your hand spans, write it down and then again measure it with the meter scale and find out how much length is your hand span. You can do one more thing, draw small segments of uh, by a pencil on a paper like 1 centimeter, 1 inch and compare those with 1 meter. From this you can get an idea of different units, how long is 1 centimeter or how long different units are in comparison. I hope you will do this and enjoy the activity. Let's meet up next time with another instrument. Bye!